I asked people with ADHD one question. What do you want the world to know about your ADHD? This is what I want you to know about my ADHD. It takes me a lot of hard work to get my work turned in on time. I'm very smart, but my grades drop sometimes. If I could actually sit down and start my homework, I would. But many days I, I just can't, and struggling with something so seemingly simple tends to make me feel very frustrated or even stupid. I'd like the world to know that there are people like me out there who get good grades, rarely get in trouble, and yet can and do have ADHD and struggle with the symptoms that come along with it. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it isn't there. My ADHD affects every aspect of my life, from sleep to school to work, all of my relationships, and I have to tailor my entire life around having it. It doesn't always look the same. I was only diagnosed at 25 because I have the inattentive type. I'm basically hyperactive. I was diagnosed at the age of seven. I wasn't diagnosed with ADHD until I was 38. So I always thought you need to be hyperactive to have it. I've filmed this video too many times now and I can't get it right. And it's really stressing me out now. I try really hard and it hurts when people act like I'm not trying as hard as I am. But the worst part is when my symptoms aren't taken as symptoms, they're taken as behaviors done intentionally to upset someone or considered that I don't care. And that's never been the case. Whenever you think that I intentionally tried to hurt you, I didn't. I probably just screwed up. I'm at least as frustrated as you and probably even more. When I say I forgot, I'm not lazy. I'm not just trying to make an excuse. It's a real struggle. And I'm probably even more pissed off at myself than you are at me. There is a giant flipping war going on inside this head. I really am trying. When I use my accommodations, it's not me trying to take the easy way out. All I'm trying to do is level the playing field so that you and I have a lot more even chance of success. When you see me arranging my pens and pencils according to color, it's because my brain is trying to compensate for the chaos within. I squeeze some Play-Doh in my hand and let me concentrate on what I'm doing. I move to a special spot in the classroom for tests because I can't block out noises and distractions like you can. While I'm staring off into space, it doesn't mean I'm stupid. It doesn't mean that I'm not listening to you. Normally it means that you've triggered a really interesting thought which my impulsive brain can't help but chase. Having ADHD is like having a billion trampolines in your head, each representing a thought, and your brain just jumping off each and every one every second. I don't think about ADHD as a disorder, I think it's more of a different way of thinking. I know my brain works differently, but ADHD can give me an advantage with what I'm doing. It may take me a while to come to a solution, it tends to be really different than everybody else's, and a lot of people appreciate that. I've been told my whole life I need to be fighting my brain. I'm learning now that I need to love and work with my brain. It's not an excuse, it's an explanation, and it's something that I'm going to continue working on for the rest of my life, and that's okay. I'm smart, but ADHD makes focusing hard and hides my abilities. If I'm given the chance, I can achieve more. To meet this amazing community and learn more about how to support them, please visit howtoadhd.com slash howtohelp. Please share. Also, sticky notes. Yay!